Chadies and Lentilmen, welcome to the Vinyl Files. Today we are taking a look at an album that is very important for a lot of reasons. Important to me because this is the first death metal album that I bought back when iTunes was a big deal and you had to hide albums like these from your mom or she'd get mad at you. But this is also, also an important album because it is so innovative in the genre of death metal that it cannot be overstated. And that album is Tomb of the Mutilated by Cannibal Corpse. Now, if you go back to the other videos on my YouTube channel that I did with Cannibal Corpse, I, 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 I favor this one. I absolutely do. This is, they are in the pocket. They are on their way. They, they are there. They are Cannibal Corpse. Because while I like the other two albums, they have their charm. It's, it's a lot of the same, but it's different, but they are good. I'm not trying to talk junk about eating back to life or butchered at birth. I'm just saying that this one is a little bit more versatile, a little bit more musically eccentric, a little bit, I don't know that there's, when the track ends and the next one begins, I for sure with this album go, oh, it's the next song and not just like, is, is it just one whole song? Is the whole thing just one song? Tomb of the Mutilated, their 1992 release. And if you know anything about Cannibal Corpse, you know the first track on this album, which is Hammer Smashed Face. That song was featured on Ace Ventura Pet Detective, which as a fun side fact, Jim Carrey, a uh, huge fan of death metal and fought to get these guys on that movie because he liked their music so much. Some standout tracks on this album. Of course, we have Hammer Hammer Smashed Face. Hammer Smashed Face. Hammer Smashed Face. And then we have I Clean Blood. Oh boy. Um, addicted to <laughs> skin. <laughs> Del delicious. Uh, Necro Naughty Boy. I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. Uh, the Cryptic Stench. Entrails ripped from a Kleenex box. Uh, post, post mortal mastication. And beyond the cemetery. Christ of a cracker. Getting into the contents. First off, a lovely set of lyrics. Um, you know, they're poets in a grotesque way. They are technically poets. Bleed. I now bleed your pus. I bleed the blood of the dead. The record itself sounds fantastic. It comes on this beautiful red slushy colorway. Uh, I'm really glad I was actually able to find this one. You might be still able to find uh, some pressings of this either on Metal Blade Records, and I'll put a link in the description for that website, um, or local record stores, you just have to check. I think there was also a blue variant. I'm glad I got red. However, if there was a blue slushy variant, I would have gotten the blue slushy because I like a blue slushy better, and if you don't, you're weird. Then it comes with a little download code as well as, you know, a small version of the album cover in case you need to put it in your car, at which point if you're pulled over, your vehicle will most assuredly be searched for body parts or weapons. The thing about this album cover, as death metal, as a death metal fan myself and as death metal fans, those of you out there, I'm sure you look at this and you go, yeah, well, that's Cannibal Corpse. I mean, that's just what they, what they do. But it would be fun to get a fresh perspective. Um, and I would love for my wonderful fiance to give me her take. Love of my life. Hi. On a scale of one to 10, how metal would you say you are? <laughs> like one on the low spectrum? Right. 10 being the most metal? No, 10 being the least metal, one being the most metal. Um. <laughs> on a scale of 10 to one. 11. Okay, that, that's fair. Maybe, maybe 10 on, depending on my, my mood. If people cut me off in traffic, I'm very metal. Yeah, no kidding. So you've seen metal album covers before, right? I've seen your collection. Okay. So I would I would like to get your like some words. I would just like to get like your first reaction. What do you Grotesque. Perplexed. Okay. Perturbed. Okay. Um I, I have like a, like a gut reaction. It's not, it's not a word. It's appropriate. But 
I stopped. They got turned down by girls so much in high school that they finally just were like, oh, well, I don't even want a girlfriend. I wasn't even asking you. I was just like, if you wanted, that they took all of that pent up rage from like entire high school and they just were like, this is how I felt. Felt like, uh, Felt like yeah, that. yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I have new videos coming out every single Saturday, so you're gonna wanna hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what records I should be checking out, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.